In case you missed it, this last week, the Climate Prediction Center put out their long range forecast for how this winter is going to go. What are we going to do rainfall, snowfall wise? Above average, below average? What do we think? Get ready, because 2025 could be a turning point for our planet. The climate phenomenon known as La Nina is already on the horizon, and experts are warning it could bring some of the most intense weather patterns we've ever seen. From scorching droughts, threatening food supplies, to unrelenting storms and flooding that could devastate entire regions, La Nina's impact could shake up the world in ways we can't fully predict. But what exactly will it do to Earth? And how might it affect your life next year? Join us as we dive deep into the science behind this powerful event, uncover the latest predictions, and reveal why the stakes are higher than ever. Could La Nina set off a chain reaction that pushes our planet to its limits? Or is there still time to prepare for what's coming? Let's explore what 2025 has in store and the secrets hidden in Earth's changing climate. As we approach 2025, the planet may be on the verge of experiencing some of the most extreme weather conditions in recent years. Scientists have been sounding the alarm that La Nina, a complex weather phenomenon, might return with a vengeance impacting millions of lives and reshaping global weather patterns. But what exactly is La Nina, and why is it so significant? In this deep dive, we'll explore everything you need to know about La Nina, how it works, how it differs from its counterpart El Nino, and what the world could face if this event escalates in the coming year. La Nina, which translates to the girl in Spanish, is part of a natural climate cycle known as the El Nino Southern Oscillation, ENSO. This cycle includes two opposite phases, El Niño, the warming phase, and La Niña, the cooling phase. La Niña occurs when sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern Pacific Ocean drop significantly below normal levels. This cooling effect is caused by stronger than usual trade winds that push warm surface water westward, allowing colder, nutrient-rich water from the depths to rise to the surface. This shift may seem subtle, but it has a dramatic impact on global weather patterns, ocean currents, and even ecosystems. The effects of La Nina can last for several months or even years, influencing weather far beyond the Pacific Ocean. To fully understand how La Nina works, we need to break down its intricate processes, which are rooted in the interactions between the atmosphere and the ocean. The role of the Pacific Ocean and trade winds. The Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest body of water on Earth stretching nearly halfway around the globe. It plays a crucial role in regulating the planet's climate and the El Niño Southern Oscillation ENSO cycle, of which La Niña is one phase, is a key component of this regulation. Under normal conditions, the trade winds, steady winds that blow from east to west near the equator, push warm surface waters westward towards Southeast Asia and Australia. This movement of warm water leads to higher sea surface temperatures in the western Pacific, while cooler waters rise up from the depths along the eastern Pacific coast of South America. In the eastern Pacific, particularly off the coasts of Peru and Ecuador, this displacement of warm water causes upwelling, where cold, nutrient-rich water rises to the surface. This process supports marine life and fisheries in the region. During La Nina, the trade winds become even stronger than usual, which intensifies the effects of these normal patterns. The cooling of the central and eastern Pacific. In a La Nina event, the already strong trade winds become more forceful, pushing even more warm water toward the western Pacific. This has a cascading set of effects. The stronger winds cause an increase in upwelling off the South American coast, which brings even more cold, nutrient-rich water to the surface. As a result, the sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern Pacific drop significantly below average, sometimes by as much as 3 to 5 degrees Celsius, 5 to 9 degrees Fahrenheit. The stronger winds cause an increase in upwelling off the South American coast, which brings even more cold, nutrient-rich water to the surface. As a result, the sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern Pacific drop significantly below average, sometimes by as much as 3 to 5 degrees Celsius, 5 to 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Changes in the Walker Circulation A critical piece of the La Nina puzzle is the Walker Circulation, a vast loop of atmospheric movement that circles the equator. Here's how it changes during La Nina. Under normal conditions, warm air rises in the western Pacific, near Indonesia, 
creating clouds and heavy rainfall. This air then flows eastward at high altitudes before descending over the cooler eastern Pacific, where it creates drier conditions. The intensification of trade winds and cooler sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific strengthen the walker circulation. The western Pacific experiences even more intense rising air, leading to heavier rainfall and increased storm activity, while the eastern Pacific becomes drier and cooler. This shift in the walker circulation is why La Nina tends to bring heavy rains and floods to regions like Southeast Asia, Northern Australia, and parts of Africa, while causing droughts in places like South America and the southwestern United States. La Nina events typically last between nine months to two years, but they can occasionally extend longer. The strength and duration depend on various factors, including ocean temperatures, atmospheric conditions, and interactions with other climate phenomena like the Indian Ocean Dipole and Arctic Oscillation. While meteorologists can detect the onset of La Nina by monitoring sea surface temperatures, trade winds, and atmospheric pressure changes, predicting its precise impact and duration remains challenging. Modern climate models have improved in forecasting La Nina events several months in advance, but the full extent of its effects on global weather patterns is still difficult to forecast due to the complexity of Earth's climate system. If the predictions hold true and La Nina strengthens in 2025, the world could be heading into a year filled with severe weather extremes that could impact everything from agriculture to infrastructure and human lives. Let's take a closer look at what the worst case scenarios could entail, breaking down the potential impacts across various regions and sectors. Droughts and crop failures in South America. One of the most immediate and severe impacts of La Nina is its potential to trigger widespread droughts in South America particularly in countries like Argentina, Brazil, and Paraguay. These regions are major global suppliers of agricultural products such as soybeans, corn, and wheat. If La Nina persists, it could devastate these crops, leading to a prolonged lack of rain during the critical growing seasons could stifle crop yields, reducing food production. In Brazil's southern states and Argentina's Pampas region, dry conditions could affect not just crops but also cattle pastures, impacting meat and dairy production. A prolonged lack of rain during the critical growing seasons could stifle crop yields, reducing food production. In Brazil's southern states and Argentina's Pampas region, dry conditions could affect not just crops, but also cattle pastures, impacting meat and dairy production. Extended droughts may also reduce the water levels in vital rivers like the Paraná and Uruguay rivers, affecting hydroelectric power generation and water supply for millions of people flooding and landslides in Southeast Asia and Australia. While some regions will suffer from drought, others will experience the opposite problem. In the Western Pacific and Southeast Asia, La Nina typically brings heavier than normal rainfall, increasing the risk of flooding and landslides. La Nina is notorious for causing extreme rainfall across Northern and Eastern Australia. If 2025 sees another strong La Nina, major cities like Brisbane, Sydney and Darwin could face severe floods. Rural areas, particularly along riverbanks, are at risk of being cut off, leading to crop losses and displacement of communities. Countries like Indonesia, the Philippines, Thailand, and Malaysia could face relentless monsoon rains, triggering catastrophic flooding. The threat of landslides in mountainous regions could increase, endangering communities and causing widespread damage to infrastructure. Countries like Indonesia, the Philippines, Thailand, and Malaysia could face relentless monsoon rains, triggering catastrophic flooding. The threat of landslides in mountainous regions could increase, endangering communities and causing widespread damage to infrastructure. Intensified hurricanes and cyclones in the Western Pacific La Nina often leads to increased tropical cyclone activity in the Western Pacific Ocean, which means stronger and more frequent typhoons could slam into vulnerable nations such as the Philippines, Japan, and Taiwan in 2025. Warmer than average sea surface temperatures in the Western Pacific fuel the development of powerful typhoons with winds that can exceed 200 kilometers per hour, 124 miles per hour. These storms can cause widespread destruction from flattening buildings to causing massive storm surges along coastlines. In densely populated regions like Manila, a direct hit from a super typhoon could lead to significant loss of life and billions of dollars in economic damage. Power outages, destroyed infrastructure, 
and disruptions to supply chains could create chaos and slow recovery efforts. Rising sea levels due to climate change could exacerbate storm surges, leading to severe coastal flooding in cities like Tokyo and Hong Kong, where millions live in vulnerable coastal zones, extreme cold and snowfall in North America. While La Nina is known for bringing wetter conditions to some regions, it also has a chilling effect on others, particularly North America. La Nina can cause the jet stream to shift, leading to cold Arctic air plunging southward into the United States and Canada. This can result in polar vortex events, where frigid temperatures sweep across the Midwest and Northeast, bringing record-breaking cold snaps. Areas like the Great Lakes, the Northeast, and parts of the Rocky Mountains could face severe snowstorms, potentially resulting in blizzards that paralyze transportation networks and cause widespread power outages. The risk of frozen pipelines, increased energy demand, and damaged roads could strain public infrastructure. Cities like Chicago, Minneapolis, and New York may see disrupted services, forcing officials to issue state of emergency declarations. The cold snaps could also damage winter wheat crops in regions like the Midwest, further impacting the global food supply chain. Prolonged drought and wildfires in the western United States. While parts of North America may face cold and snow, the southern and western United States often experience warmer and drier conditions during La Nina years. States like California, Texas, Arizona, and Nevada are already facing chronic drought due to a combination of reduced snowpack in the Sierra Nevada and overuse of water resources. A strong La Nina could worsen the drought, leading to critical water shortages for agriculture and cities. Dry conditions combined with La Nina's warm, dry winds can create the perfect storm for wildfires. California could face another devastating wildfire season, threatening towns, forests, and the state's already stressed power grid. Reduced rainfall and depleted reservoirs could further strain agricultural operations in California's Central Valley, a region that produces a significant portion of the nation's fruits, nuts, and vegetables. East Africa's dual threat, drought and food. Insecurity. The Horn of Africa, encompassing countries like Ethiopia, Somalia, and Kenya, is no stranger to the devastating effects of La Nina. The phenomenon often brings prolonged droughts to the region, exacerbating an already dire situation. East Africa has faced years of failed rainy seasons, and a strong La Nina in 2025 could mean yet another year of insufficient rainfall. This would push millions closer to famine, as crops fail and livestock perish. Water shortages and crop failures could trigger a humanitarian crisis, displacing communities and fueling conflict over scarce resources. International aid agencies may struggle to keep up with the rising demand for food and water relief. With little water for irrigation, farmers may abandon their fields, increasing malnutrition rates. Children and vulnerable populations will be at higher risk of diseases linked to hunger and poor water quality. Potential Global Economic Fallout The combined impact of these weather extremes could lead to global economic instability in 2025. Flooding in Southeast Asia, wildfires in the US, and droughts in South America could disrupt the global supply chains, especially for food, raw materials, and energy. This could lead to higher prices and inflation, impacting consumers worldwide. Colder than usual winters in Europe and North America could lead to spikes in energy demand, especially for natural gas and heating oil. This could put additional strain on the energy grid, leading to potential blackouts and energy shortages. As extreme weather events become more frequent, insurance companies may face higher payouts, which could drive up premiums. Governments may also need to invest heavily in disaster relief and infrastructure repair, diverting funds from other critical needs. The worst-case scenarios of a powerful La Nina in 2025 highlight the need for proactive measures. Governments, communities, and individuals must be prepared to face the challenges ahead. Countries can enhance their early warning systems to prepare for floods, droughts, and storms, potentially saving lives and reducing economic losses. Strengthening infrastructure, particularly in vulnerable regions, can mitigate damage from extreme weather events. Farmers may need to shift to drought-resistant crops, and cities may need to improve water management practices to cope with water shortages. While La Nina is a natural climate phenomenon, 
its effects in a warming world are becoming increasingly unpredictable. The lessons learned from past events may not be enough to prepare us for what 2025 could bring, making it crucial to remain vigilant and adaptable in the face of nature's changing patterns. As we brace for what La Nina could unleash in 2025, it's clear that the impacts will be felt far and wide. From severe droughts and wildfires to powerful storms and floods, the challenges ahead may push our resilience to the limit. But remember, knowledge is power. By staying informed and prepared, we can better protect ourselves, our communities, and our planet. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might need this information. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss our deep dives into Earth's most powerful natural phenomena. Let's stay ahead of the storm together. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe, stay curious, and stay prepared.